So hello guys and welcome to my channel VI Techie and today I am going to tell you about Windows Security aka Windows Defender. We have seen about Windows MRT. If you don't know about it, please go through the video link shown above or clicking on the description and then I can't, you can see that video and I will link that video at the end of this video. So let's see what is Windows Defender, how to use it, how it is useful and how it can protect your device. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My name is Dwaj, you are watching VITechie, make the world accessible. Please subscribe. VI Techie. Thank you. Space check. Desktop list. So now I'm on my desktop and I'm gonna open my Windows Security. You can search for Windows Security by opening your start menu start window, and writing here S E S E level one window security app. Press right to switch C -S -E -C -U. one to one. C U. If you write that, you will get the first option, Windows Security. You need to press enter over here. C Windows security, window Windows security, Windows security, Windows items list, virus threat protection, no action needed, no action needed, one of eight. So first of all, let me explain you the whole overview of the application Windows Defender, basically aka Windows security. So basically Windows security is divided into basically two panes, the, f um, the overall appeal is similar to the Windows 10 setting app. So I'm using Windows 11. And to confirm it, I will show it to you. Windows 11 22H2, AMD 64, build 22621.1105. Okay, so it's Windows 11, right? Um, now let me tell you about the overview. So on the right, and it is all whole pane is there which covers around 80 80 percent of your screen and on the left you have 20 percent of the width which is covered by the navigation pane so when you land on the windows security application you will hit enter on it the first focus will go to the virus and threat protection. So virus and threat protection is the first option which you get when you will open your Windows security. And now to navigate between the different options on the on the right pane, you need to press right and left arrow to go ahead. You need to press right arrow and to go behind, you can press the left arrow. So let's press the right arrow and go check the first uh, check first the options which are there. So I'm pressing right over here. Account protection. No action needed. No action needed. Virus what threat. Account it? protection. Account no protection. action needed. No action needed. Then, Two of eight. Firewall network protection. Well, no action firewall, needed. No action. App browser control. App browser no action control. needed. No active device security. Comma comma view status and manage hardware security features. Five of eight. So device protection and hardware features. Device performance health. No action needed. No action Forwards. needed. Family options. No action needed. Map protection history. No action needed. View latest protection actions and recommendations. Eight of eight. So these are the eight options which you will get. And now I will press up arrow and then go App up browser arrow. control firewall account fire. Virus and threat protection is the first option. If you press tab over here. Close navigation button. Close navigation. Close toolkit. navigation button. Then hit tab again. Home one of nine level one. It is home. Virus threat protection Virus not selected. Threat protection. Nine level one account protection account not selected. Protection. Firewall network protection so not same selected. Four of nine level one. Present over left over the right pane. They are over here. App browser can device security device performance health family options not selected. Eight of nine level protection history not selected. Nine of nine level one. I'm in tab now. Settings not selected. One of one. Settings are there. 
nothing is uh, more in the settings app but let's go settings, to it security uh, providers uh, manage the apps and services that protect your device grouping manage providers link so if you have any additional uh, security uh, application install like you can hit enter security and providers clear. antivirus list microsoft defender antivirus is turned on collapse one to one so Space, you can expand expanded. this open that button you can open the app basically it will open the same app which is already here i'm putting tab firewall list windows firewall is turned on collapse one to one space expanded open that button so you can hit enter firewall it network protection firewall domain network, network protect- firewall is on grouping domain network link domain network private network firewall is on grouping private network firewall link firewall public network active firewall, firewall, firewall is on grouping public network link firewall network protection grouping allow an app through firewall link Network and internet troubleshooter link. Tab only here. Firewall notification settings link. Advanced settings link. Restore firewalls to default link. Okay, I'm hitting Get tab. Get help link. Have managed providers link who's protecting tab. me. Give us feedback link. Help improve link. Privacy settings link. Tab. Privacy dashboard link. Tab. Privacy statement link. Back tab. button. Back to close navigation. Home not selected. One I'm items list. Home. Virus threat protection. No action needed. No. So nothing is huge in the settings app according to me. So no need to. You can explore it by yourself. I'm going to hit enter on the virus center protection. Virus threat protection. Current threats. No threats found. Last scan. 0502-2023-1540. Quick scan. Zero threat. S found. Scan lasted 16 seconds. 13,513 file scan. Grouping. Quick scan button. So right now all the focus is on the quick scan button. You can scan quick scan. Then I will tab over here. Scan options link. Scan options. So basically you can choose right now to scan some... Uh, Let's say uh, quick scan. So I'm hitting enter over here. Scan options. Current threats. No threats found. Last scan. 0502-2023-1540. Quick scan. Zero threat. S found. Scan lasted 16 seconds. 13,513 file scan. Grouping. Allowed threats link. Tab. Protection history link. Tab. Quick scan radio button check checks folders in your system where threats are commonly found. One to four. So here are the scan options. So you have a uh, quick scan. Full scan radio button arrow, check, checks all files and running programs scan, on your hard disk. This scan could take longer than one hour, two or four. Then customized scan radio button check scan, two files and locations you want to check, three or four. Microsoft Defender antivirus the offline scan radio button check some malicious scan. software can be particularly difficult to remove from your device. Microsoft Defender antivirus offline scan can help find and remove them using up-to-date threat definitions. This will restart your device and will take about 15 minutes, four or four. So these are the four types of scans. Now we're in opera, 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 quick scan opera, radio button scan, check check scan now button. So now after choosing any of the options you can tab and you can hit the enter over the scan button so it will start scanning according to the type you have chosen. Get help link have a question. I'm going back le- alt left Virus arrow. Threat protection. Current threats. No threats found. Scan options link. Scan options we have seen. Allow threats link. If you are allowed then threat, then you can see protection here. Protection history link. Protection history. So you can check whatever uh, protection, uh, if any viruses were found in your device, then it would show it over here. I'm hitting tab. Virus threat protection settings. No action needed. Grouping. Manage settings link. So here is the settings basically. Now I'm hitting tab. Virus threat protection updates. Security intelligence is up to date. Last update 0602-2023-1143. Grouping. Protection updates link. So you can update your protection by hitting enter over here. And if you have any other antivirus, for example for quick kill antivirus, then it will show up the updates for that as well over here. I'm going back. Items list, virus threat protection, account protection, no action needed, no action needed. Two account eight. protection, let's go through it quickly. I'm hitting enter. Account protection, Microsoft account grouping, familiar account info link. View account info, I'm not going there right now, tab. Microsoft account grouping, learn more link. Tab. Windows hello grouping, manage sign-in options link. You can manage the sign-in options from here, like tab. Settings, it's settings uh, window, make the sign-in grouping list, the... facial recognition, Windows hello, fingerprint record pin, Windows hello. Pin, you can hit enter, means you can hit. Space. Tab over here. Pin. Windows hello, grouping space, expand Tab, it. expand it and then you can change it if you have. Related links grouping, I forgot my pin link. So security key. links is there, security key, etc, etc. 
Pin. Fingerprint record. Pin. Windows pin. Windows hello. Grouping this option is currently unavailable. Show all settings button expanded. Show all settings Why toolkit. Why is this turning like that? I Related don't links know, man. Moving. I forgot my pin link. Sorry. This pin isn't working for your organization's resources. Tap or click here to fix it. Link. So if you want to Microsoft fix any issues right now, like this, Microsoft so account window, clickable main landmark, OK button, use Windows Hello with your account, use Windows Hello with your account, button OK. I need to hit OK, I think here, tab, so it should work. Dynamic lock, dynamic addition, additional settings, OK, use Windows Hello. OK, we need to hit, window, and workplace then... or school account window. Main landmark, please wait progress bar. Sign into your I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator address. ask you for the authentication, like in my case, I use Microsoft Authenticator. So it is telling that please confirm to Authenticator. So let me do that. So if you are facing any issues, then you can hit enter on that link and basically. Sign into your account. Form. Will... form main landmark clickable clickable content info landmark clickable out of form. This form. Issue. form main landmark clickable clickable content info landmark so clickable see, out of form. So it is loading right now. So let's wait. Use Windows Hello with your account document. Clickable main landmark. OK button all set. Settings. Okay, Settings window. Wait set. sign in grouping. List pin. Windows Hello. Grouping sign in with a pin. Recommended. Related links grouping. Security key 404. Pin. Windows Hello. 304. Pin. Tab. Pin. Windows Hello. Grouping. Sign in with a pin. Recommended. Show all settings button expanded. Show all settings. Change your pin grouping. Change pin button. Change pin button you get. So if you want to change it, so you can hit enter over here. Related links grouping. So I for additional I settings. Back. System. Vag laptop grouping. Rename link. I'm closing System the menu. See tab. Windows security. Windows security window. Windows Hello grouping. Manage sign in options link. Tab. Dynamic lock grouping. Dynamic lock settings link. Dynamic lock basically if you have your phone connected always then uh, with the bluetooth then whenever you will go away from your laptop it will lock your laptop so that is a cool feature i feel like i can i have connected my both of the phone the android my samsung and the apple both of them so i can turn on the dynamic lock from here like i can hit enter over here it will again open settings, the settings. settings window additional settings grouping dynamic lock grouping allow windows to lock your device automatically when your away check box not checked Space check, check error icon this. looking for your paired phone. Okay. Automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when I sign uh, back. Basically, in. my iPhone. Dynamic lock grouping. Allow off. Windows to lock your device automatically when your away check box checked. That's why I Space not checked. That. Space checked. Uh, error, something like that. Automatically save my restartable apps and show my account details. So I'm closing Sit it right Windows now, security. you can Windows do it by yourself, I'm going back. Items list, virus threat protection, zero. Account, account protection, protection, protection history, no action needed, virus threat protection. Okay, now I'm putting right arrow. Account for firewall network protection, Fire no action needed, protection. no action needed. We Three of eight, app that. browser control, no action needed, no action needed. Four of eight, mm -hmm. new notification from Windows security, dynamic lock is not working, your paired phone cannot be found, it may be off, out of range, or Bluetooth is off. Actions, one of one window. Okay, see so now. It account protection. Me. No action needed. No action needed. Two five app browser control. No action needed. No action needed. Four of eight. App browser control is there. Device security. Comic device performance health. No action needed. No action so needed. Six of eight. Family protection. Everything is very simple over here. The you need to go left, right, and over here, and then tap, tap in the any particular option. So this is the window security for you. Now let's meet in the my verdict. Apps. So guys now it's the verdict time so let us first know that is windows defender enough for your laptop or do you need additional protection i would say that if you are satisfied with the windows protection then it is very powerful and you don't require any of the protection but 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 if you don't like windows different and if you don't trust windows different let's say you trust any other antivirus let's say quickie for accessibility quickie so yeah you may use quickie but you can save 600 rupees if you use Windows security. So that's 
all upon you according to me and yes if you are satisfied with the windows security then you should use windows security is very useful you can use windows security and mrt together and your laptop won't be protected now coming to that is it fully accessible yes it is fully accessible kill is not fully accessible but the windows security is fully accessible so you need not to have any other tensions about windows security so accessibility is good features are good it is up to date it always improves the the viruses which are found on the web they include them in the latest updates to protect against them so it is a very good thing and windows security is very enough if you are comfortable with it if you trust it so if you trust to windows security then you should use it if you turn off the windows security then go and turn on it right now it is very important to have security of your laptop and your files so please go and turn on the windows security so thank you so much for watching this video we'll meet next time till then bye bye Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe.